Okay, this is a video on my Beckett Burner uh, heat manager. I did a video like a year ago and I didn't explain a whole lot as to how it works. So I'm going to try to do that now. Alright, this is the um, thermostat for the boiler inside here. And I believe it is set for 180 degrees. There is no low limit switch on this because this is what's called a cold start system. And right now since it just started, as you can see it says burner enabled. And you can see the temperature of the boiler going up. So once that reaches 180 degrees, that'll stop the uh, burner from running, as you can hear it. And it will run, the circulator will keep going until it reaches its low limit threshold. And then this guy up here will step in and the economizing light will come on. Now, depending on demand, um, it will depend on how low the temperature will get on the boiler. I've seen it sometimes go as low as 135 degrees, but it doesn't usually go any lower than that. If there's a lot of demand, it won't go probably any lower than 145 or 150. But again, it depends on how many times it's been running. It looks at all these factors, and then it um, tries to figure out how to save you the most. I like it. I think I've probably saved at least 20, 20 to 25 gallons a year. Yeah, that doesn't sound like much, but at almost $4 a gallon, it adds up over time. So I've really been really happy with this unit. Works very well. Um, after it shuts off and it's no longer needed, this can cool down all the way till it's stone cold. And when it reaches its 135 low threshold, you'll see this will go into standby mode and it'll say burner enabled until the next time it's needed. So it's kind of cool how it works. You can also do a search on the internet for this item and there's a um, there's a video on there that tells you all about it and what it does. The other good thing about this is for systems like this one here, this Well McLean Gold that's really efficient and you only get a stack temperature of about 300 to 320 or 350 degrees, this makes the burner run longer cycles which in turn heats the pipe up higher and it dries out your um, your chimney. Unfortunately for me, I got a lot of moisture in the chimney and it froze and the bricks popped. So I had to put a stainless steel liner in this. Pain in the neck. So this will um, hopefully stop that from happening. You can see we're getting hotter and hotter here. We're almost to the point where it's going to shut off. And let's take a look at the actual burner itself while we're waiting. This is a Beckett burner. This was installed in 2000, so it still has the big motor over here. Newer models have a little tiny motor on them. They look kind of goofy looking. And of course that's the, um, the ignition coil right there and your control box. Pretty quiet actually. I'll zoom in a little closer on this. So if anybody's interested they can look at that as well. It's calling for heat now so it's under quite a bit of load. We're almost up the temp.
Okay, it just called. I heard it click. Okay, so this goes into standby mode now.